Away from the massive crowds at the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge recently, a Lee woman healed by St. Faustina shared the powerful message of God's mercy at a church in Westfield. Kathy Harrington reports this celebration also drew faithful from near and far. It's only God's mercy that's going to help us. Bob Digan knows firsthand that God's mercy is the answer. 38 years ago, a long-forgotten film about a Polish nun inspired him to take his family to the shrine of Sister Faustina, believing the power of intercessory prayer would heal his wife Maureen and their son. The movie was made back in the 50s, just before the ban was put in place. The message of divine mercy first revealed to Sister Faustina in 1931 was lost for years until a Polish cardinal became pope and John Paul II made it his mission to spread the devotion. Sister Faustina was born in Poland on August 25, 1905. Now decades later, on this cold and rainy Divine Mercy Sunday, the woman whose miraculous healing led to Faustina's elevation to sainthood told an audience at Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament Church about that day in 1981 when she was healed. It happened while praying the chaplet at the tomb of Sister Faustina in Krakow. Maureen explained she could hear the nun telling her, if you ask for my help, I will give it to you. Maureen responded in what she describes as a nasty, cocky attitude. Okay, well, <laughs> you know, if you're going to do something, do it now. You know, not in a nice tone of voice. With those words, Maureen was healed. I just felt that the leg was, maybe the swelling was going down because I could feel the shoe was getting too big for me. And I thought, uh-oh, what's happening? Last year for Divine Mercy Sunday, the parish celebrated showing the film In the Name of Miracles. It was the story of Maureen and Bob Dygan. Sharing the magnitude of the miracle and the power of intercessory prayer was a message the audience was hungry for. It was nice to hear her story of the miracles. Very powerful, yes, to see her and hear her testimony. The importance of intercessory prayer. Right. And sometimes intercessory you pray for prayer. other people and you wonder, is God really listening to that? But he really does because that's what healed Maureen. Right. She wasn't praying for herself. Her husband was. We feel a very heavy responsibility for, for people who have concerns and they mention it to us. Today, Bob works a few days a week at the National Shrine in Stockbridge for benediction and to lead the chaplet. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, he led the faithful in prayer as the chaplet began. Following the chaplet, there was time to venerate a relic of St. Faustina to close out the Divine Mercy Sunday afternoon. I'm Kathy Harrington for Real to Real.